Hi, all you hottie jalapeno poppers. Welcome to another episode of What You're Packing. All the way from the 305, Morphine, love, Dion. Hello, hola. Let me talk about your name. Por qué Morphine? I know, I don't know why. You like drugs? No. Drogas? No, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I cut my pinky nails. <laughs> okay, okay, well, you know, you are from Miami. Tell me about Morphine and how you started doing drag, and we'll get into your BBL in a little bit. Oh, girl, I'm more than just a BBL. Thank you. Are, is that, are you gonna remember that? I'm gonna put in a shirt. Are you gonna remember that? And I'll give you 10%. That? Oh, I don't know, you need to give me nothing <laughs> except you loving yourself fully, wholly, and mm -hmm. completely. Thank you. You are that. welcome. Thank you. So how did you find drag, Morphine? I watched the show, My the first season I ever watched was season six, mm -hmm. Adore Delano, my yes. favorite, which is 10 years ago. That's crazy. Gag. I know, I was a sophomore in high school. Ew. And <laughs> I know, sorry, I was born 97. And I was watching uh, that season and I go, oh my God, I need to, like, this is what I want in life. And I used to be a makeup artist in high school and a dancer and I had a really low GPA because of it, so. Are you blaming your low GPA on dancing and, and makeup artistry? Yeah, I would like to. And yeah. nothing to do with your attention or focusing or getting your work done? I was so focused on watching the makeup tutorials <laughs> rather than the biology <laughs> stuff, okay. girl. The teachers hated me. But, you know, I graduated, thank How God. How can anybody hate you? I don't know. You are so sweet and charming and oh. funny. I would imagine from what I went through, teachers just get frustrated when we don't live up to our potential. Oh, okay. You know, there's that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like yeah, you yeah. could be so much more, but it's like we don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't. We want to paint faces and dance the house down boots. I remember my counselor was like, "Are you sure you want to put three dance classes as electives?" And I was like, "Yes." She's like, "It's not gonna look. It's not gonna look good for college." I go, "Well, I'm not gonna go to college because I'm oh. gonna be a star." I told Thank her that. You. I told her that. She was like, "Okay." She's like, "I see it for you." And then that's how every morphine was born. I started doing drag 2017 during Valentine's Day. It's what happened on Valentine's Day? I did an amateur drag competition and I won each time, like for like five executive months. It's one of those ones that keeps going every week. Yes, I was there every week. I claimed a hundred dollar prize and okay. girl, I was living. Then and I, it was just too easy. It was too, e it was too easy. It was the girls in Hialeah were just too easy ah, to be. The Hialeah. <laughs> Mama, Why? What's wrong with that? No, it's just, Mama, it's it's kind of like the hood. A so? Bit. No, what? I love it. I was raised, born and raised there, so, you know. You gotta know where you came from of to course. know where you are going. I always say from Hialeah to Hollywood. And okay. I never in a million years thought I was gonna say the word Hialeah here. I have spent a lot of time in the 305. 305. My girl group, we used to go to Calle Ocho every year. <gasps> yes! Calle Ocho? Yes! Ah, so you know the, the Versailles Cafe, right? Are Versailles? you kidding me? Oh my God, the Cuban coffee? I would love line up for the rice and beans. We have to go yes, like, to Miami yes. and with Malaysia and Maya, for I sure. I would love to. Let's talk about the BBL situation. What BBL? Mm. <laughs> this you is can't unnatural. Hide it now, girl. You've been out there. I know, I know. Kind of like regret saying that I got it done because I wish people would have just thought it was natural. And listen, we've been watching this show long enough to know that that <laughs> would not be natural, <laughs> but it looks good. Thank you. And you're proud of it. Yeah, I, it's something that I really wanted to do for a long time because, girl, I was born with no booty, no hip. I love my mother so much, but my mother doesn't have a booty. And yes. like my little sister is bodied. Big boobies, hips, ass. My dad has a giant ass. Stop. And of course me, was born with no ass, no hips, a belly and a receding hairline. Well, listen, you got it all taken care of. <laughs> of course, you know, and now I'm gonna get another one, hopefully. Why do you need another one? <laughs> I just want one so bad. But you don't need it. It's balanced on your body. It works. Thank you. you can do what you wanna do. I'm not trying to talk you out of it, but you really don't need it. You're actually beautiful Thank you. just the way you Thank are. Thank you so much. My mom says that all the time. She's like, you don't need to do anything. No, but it's true, which is why I was trying to tell you, you're so much more than just a BBL. You're walking to the club ass first, and, and I'm here, you're proud of it, I got you. We see it, but you are so much more than just that. Thank and I don't want you to reduce yourself or bring yourself down. Thank you. Yeah, you're oh, welcome. Thank you, I love this little TED talk. <laughs> very thank true, you. though, you have to thank you, yeah. that. When you were prepping and you were at home, getting ready, what's the one thing that you had to bring, no matter? 
Oh my God, I think the one thing I had to bring definitely was my little sister's set of nails that she made me. Oh, how special! Yeah, she makes all my nails. She's my, my baby sister. She's four years four years younger than me. She's gonna turn 21 this year. <laughs> You're gonna say she's four years old. No, no yes. she's a little baby making nails. Right. No, she, she's about to turn 21 this year and I love her so much. Like, she is like one of the first people that I came out to and she is doing her little nail business on the side. Really? And yeah, she makes all my press-ons for all the looks. Wow. So I needed to have a piece of her with me, so. That is really special. Uh, love her. Tell yeah. me about your time on RuPaul's Drag Race. Did you, by the way, top five? Yes, I, I'm gagged. You fought for it. Mm -hmm. You did a great job. And when you had to lip sync, you brought the house down. I had a great time. Like, I really had an amazing time. I didn't think I was gonna get along with every single cast member the way that I did. And like, you know, meeting you and Rue and everyone, like I had a, an amazing time. Yes, I was in the bottom a lot. But you did it. Yeah. You did the damn thing. Thank you. I, I think it was the body lip sync. Uh -huh. I saw you going like this and then I blacked out after that. I just started going off even harder. Yes. I was like, Michelle's living for me. I'm gonna keep going. I was living for you. I was living oh. for you the whole time. And when I really fell in love with you was when I did the walkthrough. And oh, yes. you were there in my favorite color. Of course. And you were just, you just remind me of like, you'd be like a girlfriend who I'd hang out with. Oh my God. You're the funny one at the party. You don't take life too seriously. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about you. Uh, I feel like we'd be besties. Back Absolutely. In Hialeah. In Hialeah. In Calle Ocho. Si. Like, you know, a little hoochie mama. <laughs> like, like, that would be us. Definitely. We can still do that. We can't do yeah, that, yeah, baby. The world's our oyster. Are you excited to get out there and tour and do the thing with your sisters? Did you get really close with some of the girls? Yeah, actually, besides Tsunami, who's my one of my best friends, I got really close with Q and, and Plain. The three of us, you know, we're like really, really, really close. Love that. Yeah. And did you know Maya before? I knew of Maya. I didn't like her that much before. Really? And did you get to know each other more this now time? Now we're like inseparable, yeah. We're always throwing shade at each other. We're literally like siblings now. Well, you probably didn't like her because you didn't know her. Yeah, that's what it was. And she's shy, and that could be taken as yeah. standoffish. Yeah, and she's a Scorpio. Mm. You know, Scorpios are like a little sometimes. What are you? Capricorn. Ah, uh, yeah. that's why we get each other. Yes. Virgo. Of course, yes. yeah. She's a Scorpio and she's shy, but we we got along here so well. That makes me happy. Yeah, uh, this kind of like, like flourished our friendship. Yay. Yeah, we FaceTime every day. And now you can see each other. I know, now we could tour together. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I sent her home. Listen, had to be done. <laughs> you know. did what you came to do. I know, I know. I wear like a badge of honor that I mm. sent the hardest, oh. toughest, Home. Yeah, she fought. Let's talk about your looks here. Yes. So you brought some really fun looks this season. This was your share look. Yes. Who made this one for you? This share look was made by Yoan Elisir Drag. He's like a, a Cuban drag queen and he he's so sick, man. I used to do like pageants and like he made all my stuff for the pageant. And I'm like, girl, you know what? I wanna showcase as many designer and seamstresses from Florida. Everybody who made my stuff is from Miami or, or Orlando. I live for that. Who did this a one? This one was Jeffrey Kelly from Orlando. The as one that was like <laughs> Mr. Continental? Yes. I didn't realize he was seamstressing. Mama, he makes really good stuff. Amazing. And she's pretty on top. I know. Oh my yes. goodness. Yeah, I wish I would have worn different heels for that look. I didn't realize how short I was. I'm like, this is Were you off. delusional? I think so. Did you think you were tall? I, I sometimes think I'm like Naomi Campbell tall. Okay, like, how tall are you? 5'7". Kate Moss, you're Kate Moss. Oh, fierce. Yes. Okay. This one I loved on you. That's why I brought it. Who did this one? Again, Yoani Lissier. He actually did this in four hours. No. Yeah, because we flew out on like a Saturday and then Friday night I'm like, my love, please, can you just get it done? He did it in three hours by hand, sewing each little chain. And yeah, poor guy. I felt so bad, but girl, it's honestly one of my favorite looks. And you looked so fire. Thank you. Morphine, I think you. you are so talented. Thank you. I cannot wait to see you get out there and do your thing. It's very, very exciting for me to watch you grow, Morphine, and I'm not Thank just you. talking about your ass. I, well, she's gonna keep growing. <laughs> Whether it's my BBL or working out, she's gonna keep growing. There honey. you go. Yeah. Well, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And excited, and I had such a joy judging you, so thank you for sharing it with me. You were me. honestly an amazing judge. People always say like, oh, Mich watch out for Michelle. I'm like, she was actually really nice to me. Oh, if I saw it, I'd, I'd tell you. Yeah, yeah, you, I, you never said anything bad. I was like, oh my gosh, she likes me. <laughs> I do like you, sweetheart, you. a lot. So thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for joining me for another episode of What You Packing. I'll see y'all next time. Peruvian food. 
Peru ceviche. So ceviche. We went to a restaurant that was jungle food. You know where to go for the Mecca of gay shit. It's right here, and you know that's right. So make sure you click to subscribe so you never miss a thing.